Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Strata Derek, where I help you start right, grow right, and expand right. Yes guys, so on today's episode, I have with me Yannick. Um, Yannick is a fantastic entrepreneur from Germany and I'll let him introduce himself. So Yannick, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for having me. You're um, so yeah, I'm Yannick, I'm 29, born in Germany, traveled a few countries and now started the endeavor of being a social entrepreneur since a year and a bit. Nice, that yeah. was brief than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, Yannick has been in an era of working for someone and has been able to make a transition from being a company employee yeah. to being what an entrepreneur and i know there are a lot of people out there who keep who, who keep asking me derek we want an episode on um, what is the best time to leave your job to start start your own business what is the best time when is what is not the best time and all of that and i i, I feel like today is a, such a good opportunity to have yannick on this side of the world in germany to, to share with us how the transition phase was so today, today we're talking about transitioning yeah. the transitioning from company work or being an employee to being an entrepreneur so yannick yeah when is the best time to transition um it's a very very good question and the answer is that only you can know that so there's nobody else who can tell you this is the perfect moment it's really something where you have to go within and you have to check for yourself am i right so is it the right time for me within and also is my environment supporting that step right now because even maybe if you are and you know ready to go that step maybe your environment is not so you mm. really have to check um, many different conditions mm. so there's really not a perfect time to leave your current job to another job do you think um, people need to make some preparations ahead of that I mean let's let's talk about people that are conscious of okay I want to leave my company I want to leave yeah. where I'm working and start my own business what 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 advice would you give the person how was the transition like for you yeah so then maybe I start first with um, my personal story and yeah. then um, bring it back to the first question. So um, a year and a half ago, I basically took the decision to transition to go out of my current job. Mm. And it was not really a, a decision against my current job because I felt all right. It was a good organization. I had a, a permanent contract and then I decided to quit. So I really was looking for you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but I did it because I felt that inside of me there is something else you know, that wants to be expressed that I want to bring into this world. So, um, I quit and now since one year I'm basically self-employed and an entrepreneur and uh, for me personally it has been really tough mm. I How never tough? never one second in my life I never regret the decision it was the right decision to take mm. but it was also a really tough decision because suddenly overnight you're responsible for everything right there's nobody else to blame there's no boss you're your own boss and um, I only had I think savings worth of three months and then they ran out and I really had to make sure that you know I somehow get money in so it was a lot of pressure mm. pressure for myself and also pressure for my environment that I put on other people mm. so um, it was not smooth it was not smooth the transition mm. Mm. so mm. now one year later I'm in much better waters things are much um, more stable but it was not easy and and this is probably the, the first advice that I would give is mm -hmm. really really check your resources Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have maybe something like an inner balance sheet, like your personal motivation and energy, you know, your health, mm -hmm. and then also financial balance sheet. So mm -hmm. really check that and all the practicalities. Do do I have six months of savings? Can mm -hmm. I survive? Just maybe I don't know. Maybe things don't work out. That mm -hmm. well. So mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Really prepare for that before you take that. Step. So tell us, uh, what were some of the mistakes you did? I mean, for me, one of the mistakes I did when I was working before. I, I transitioned into entrepreneurship was um, I didn't know I was going to be an entrepreneur I didn't yeah. plan for it yeah. and I um, mean life hit me and I, I got kicked out of my job that's why I became an entrepreneur so uh, but I, I always told myself that if I at least I should have put some money aside yeah. you know to save for something of this nature because even back then I still had plans of starting something small but I, I didn't really um, know the right way to talk so what were some of the mistakes you did I mean you voluntarily quit your job to start yeah. your business yeah. so what were some of the mistakes that you did what do you think you could have done better i mean the first thing you um, already mentioned is mm. saving so really check in and start saving mm. earlier for that point point. Yeah. and another thing is um i was basically 
thinking that I can build up my own organization and it will be up and running and earning, creating revenue after three, four months time. Oh. And um, that was just, um, yeah, too ambitious. <laughs> too ambitious. So I did not really have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. I had to work it out myself, so I became a freelancer. Okay. So in a way, you know, I'm selling my time, you could say, mm -hmm. for a company, which I was really like doing. Mm -hmm. So have a backup plan. Didn't have one. That was definitely a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, inform close people around you. I informed them that I will do that, mm. but check in, you know, maybe there are some resources where you can know it's a safety net. Mm. I can fall into like family, friends. Yeah. Um, so, because even if the people are there, it's a difference if you express it and really tell them, look, mm. I'm taking that step, it's dangerous, yeah. I may come to you. I did not do that. I think it would have been such a, especially mental support having mm. done that. Mm. So um, having having seen the mistakes that you committed and how you, you you got it right, I wanted to delve more into okay. So how what were the the, the real things you did? If I say real things, I I want us to share the very practical things. One of them is you worked as a freelancer. Yeah. You know, still so even though you're running your company, you still worked as a freelancer. So what else did you do? How did you get back up on feet on your feet? Mm, I mean, I would say I was I was never one hundred percent down because mm -hmm. I, I took the decision you know voluntarily and mm -hmm. I had a lot already people around me. Mm, so definitely um, go out network. Mm -hmm. That was something that helped me. So I mean, how I got my two free um, freelance jobs was mm -hmm. never for any public application or anything. It was always for personal connections. So I knew in these organizations where are the people I can reach out to. I can tell them I'm available. Yeah. If you want to work with me, you know, mm. if you want to hire me, do it. I'm That's here right now. Work. So really know those people within organizations that have also decision-making power to finances. Mm. Um, so nurture those connections. Okay. Yeah. And another thing is um, I also really took the time then to build up some healthy routines in your daily life. And because you basically you wake up one morning and there is nobody telling you what to do. What so to do, yeah. Where to start. So you yeah. have to build some routines and um, That's so true. So I still kept basically a, a nine to five rhythm in a way. You know, oh. because then I told myself that's currently yeah. the best thing you yeah. know, for me. I sit down in the morning, I wake up every morning, I go to work. <laughs> whatever work was that. Yeah, whatever work it was. <laughs> that's so true. I mean I can really yeah. resonate with it because uh, if if you don't take care, being an entrepreneur can make you very lazy and irresponsible. <laughs> Because, because you think you are not responsible for anybody, uh, anybody's what I mean for for what you do, you don't need to report to anybody directly, yeah. you know. Yeah. But you have to now learn how to develop your own report sheets, so yeah. you can report to yourself. Absolutely. You can make sure that you are. This is your progress at the end of the month. This is what I've done. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I've been able to do. You yeah. know. So I think I really resonate with that. Like creating a routine for yourself and having some sort of um, lifestyle. You know, yeah. it's a lifestyle. You you have to learn a new lifestyle. You cannot use the same old lifestyle you you had when you were an employee. Yeah. As, as an Japan, it doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. So if you're going to make that transition, transition with the lifestyle. Yeah. 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 <coughs> and also consciously take that freedom that you have because it, it is a lot of freedom, mm. right? And sometimes it may be a bit overwhelming, but mm. really consciously take it and say, out of the freedom, this is how I start this week. Yeah. This time I wake up. This is the skills I learn every day. Mm. So that really helped. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So I, I believe that we've been able to um, learn a few nuggets from today's conversation about transitioning from being an employee to being what an entrepreneur or a businessman or a woman or wanting to start your own business. And uh, uh, I think you've taken some notes from today's conversation. And thank you very much, Yannick, for joining us on this conversation. And I'm going to bring you more episodes on this because this is very important. You're going to get more people's views and you know experiences on 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 the transition phase how it's it's been so take this like a part one of transition and we're going to bring you some more um, as the episodes keep rolling so this has been started derek where i help you to start right grow right and expand right <laughs> <laughs>